Hey guys, even here, and uh, let's just jump straight into the most interesting part of this video, and that is obviously a big Remy update. It's been a while, man, it's been a while since we saw something like this. A true physique update of our Mr. Olympia champion, Big Remy. So after he won the Mr. Olympia, he didn't do any guest posings, he wasn't active on social media, we haven't really seen anything of him, he pulled a Dorian on us, he was a shadow the entire year, we didn't see anything, and now, finally, we got an actual update, so we saw a couple of those in a t-shirt, a very tight t-shirt that showed his abs a little, and another one where he was curling and doing some arms, so a training video, but a physique update, none, and this one ain't much, really, it's, I would, I would barely call this a physique update. So it's a back lat spread. It's Big Remy in a back lat spread pose, and uh, the shadow is really strong. They also added a black and white filter, they probably sharpened it up a little, the structure is increased, the contrast. So it's a very heavily filtered photo, and the shadow is so strong that his waistline looks uh, as wide as his head. Literally, and we know that's not really the case. You can only see his spinal erectors and you don't see his waist because of the shadow. So this photo, even though it's heavily edited, it still doesn't look super impressive. I mean, yeah, like uh, the, the wee taper, the cobra back action, you can literally see a face of a cobra right there. But as far as big Remy updates go, I'm not too impressed. You guys remember this update before the Mr. Olympia? This one looked really freaking amazing. A lot of muscle bellies, a lot of details, the muscle looked so alive, uh, the details were everywhere, he looked in condition. This is a physique update that made us go, wow, what the hell is this? What animal is this? Is this a person? Is this a human being? Yeah, this is how it made us feel. But this one, this one is more like, eh. It's okay, it's good, it's fine, it's nothing super ridiculously crazy, but it's okay. It's good, you wouldn't say, wow, he's gonna lose the Mr. Olympia because he looks like this. No, no, it's really not that revealing, you can't really tell much. What is impressive here is the waist to shoulder ratio, but again, it's it's just a crazy shadow. Combined with an awesome angle and it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more than a little bit touched uh, edited photo. And uh, here, the diet doc Chad Nichols stresses that this one, this photo, this update was taken at 8 weeks out. And that he was weighing 322 pounds here. And he also says winter is here to stay. So, 322 pounds. That means big Remy is heavy. That means he's big. The size is not something we need to worry what he looks like right here, it's pretty much irrelevant. What matters is how shredded he is gonna get in those final eight weeks. Is he gonna get into this kind of conditioning in those eight weeks? Well, that's a question. He was pretty conditioned at this year's Mr. Olympia. That's 2020, of course, the one that he won. Uh, he was very conditioned for his standards. Now, this is nothing compared to like Sean Roden conditioning. Phil Heat at his best. Uh, Dorian Yates and Ronnie Coleman, of course, but for Big Remy and for a guy of his size, this was pretty amazing. Now, this is one of his best poses, the back lat spread. The back double bicep, not a good pose for him, one of his worst, but the back lat spread, where he can actually spread those lower lats and there are no wrinkles in the lower back, he just shows his incredible width and his shredded glutes, he has a lot of details, lines and glutes and pretty decent hamstrings, this is a pose where he dominates. And right now, he looks good in it, but considering that they decided to post this one, I'm sure they have a million other photos, and they decided to post only this one, and filter it so much, it kind of makes me a little bit worried. Is Big Remy gonna be able to defend his title? What is the reason for him not showing his physique in the entire offseason? Is he playing some games? Is he just lazy? Is he uh, having some kind of issues? Maybe he had an injury, he wasn't able to train, who knows what was the reason. But as, as Chad says, he's 322 at 8 weeks out. So I don't think we need to worry about Big Remy. I mean, that photo, it doesn't look super crazy, but 
it's really not enough to make a bunch of conclusions based upon one photo that I just did, but that's all I get, I mean, that's what I can work with. Now the question is, can Big Grammy defend the title? It's hard to tell at this point, but if I had to give you an answer, I'd say, yeah, sure, sure, why, why not? I mean, we'll see what, what he's gonna look like on that stage, he has a lot of great competitors that are gonna challenge him, like Brandon Curry right here, and Phil Heath probably not this year, but some other guys are coming up as well, so Big Ram is gonna have his hands full, it's gonna be hard defending that title, but if he brings it again like he did last year, it's gonna be hard to take it away from him as well. So as far as the other heavy hitters that might challenge Big Grammy, we have for example William Bonek, who was able to beat Big Grammy last year, but earlier last year at the Arnold's, and now he's coming again at the Arnold to win that title again, and lately he did post a lot of updates, a lot of physique photos, but he said in his stories that he's not posting any recent updates. But this one though, this one looks recent, come on, this looks like an actual physique update, so he says see you in 5 weeks, actually he's gonna see us sooner in like 4 weeks, but maybe this photo was taken at 5 weeks out, and it looks like a recent photo, because the others he was in this condition, here he looks peeled, and look at the size of the arms, and the most important thing that he needs to improve on is the leg fullness, so last year and the year before, he had some leg issues, because I think he tore a quadriceps or a hamstring, something like that, I think it was a quad, and he wasn't able to train it very hard, so he kind of lost the, the, the leg mass in one leg, and he let the other one lose a little bit more, so he would have the, the symmetry, but he lost the leg mass, the leg size. Now, I hope he's healed enough, and he can actually bring up the size of the legs from the back right here, it looks good, the legs don't look small, the glutes look uh, shredded, the hamstrings as well, the back looks super mature, super thick, so massive, that it's gonna be really hard for anybody to dethrone this guy from his Arnold Classic throne, because he won it last year, so he is the defending champ, he is the Arnold Classic winner from last year, and he's gonna be defending his title, and I think he's gonna do it successfully. Can Hari Chupan challenge Big Grammy this year? Well, this is a physique update of him, he is getting peeled, he is getting shredded, look at the abs, look at these mid-rib muscles, uh, there is a lot of them and they look very good, very thick, but still the stomach looks fine, it's not overly muscular, <laughs> look at this, these side abs, it just looks ridiculous. So obviously Hadi is in amazing shape at this point, and uh, again, I said this multiple times, but I expect Hadi to be much better this year, because last year he didn't even know if he's gonna be able to travel to the US until the final moment, so he was prepping blindly, he didn't know until the last couple of days out, and he traveled into the US I think like two days before the show, and he looked like this, he looked amazing, he beat William Bonek, he was fourth, so imagine what he's gonna look like when he has everything under control, you know, everything perfect, knowing that he's gonna be able to travel, getting into the US a week or two before the show, and also having an entire off-season focused on improving, I think it's safe to expect the Vancouver Pro type of package of Hari Chupan, that kind of conditioning, that kind of fullness, but bigger, that was 2019, it's been two years since then, two good off-seasons, so we can expect great things from Hadi, can he beat Big Ramy and Brandon Curry and win the Mr. Olympia? It's possible. Maybe he's not ideal candidate because of his structure and his inability to speak English, but can his physique look the best on that stage that night? Absolutely yes, it is very very possible. Since we are talking about the short, blocky and freaky looking guys, I just have to mention Jordan Peters, even though he's not a pro bodybuilder, I'm sure you guys know about him, he's very knowledgeable and he's probably one of the most extreme guys in the sport, probably most likely the most intense training bodybuilder of today, and he is extremely muscular, guys, he's 5 foot 6, and in the off season he went as high as 308 pounds at 5 foot 6, guys. And now he says here he is like 12 weeks post dieting, he didn't compete, he just dieted for himself, and he's trying to maintain lower body fat percent, 
He also is not using a lot of gear nowadays. He went on TRT and maybe he, now he added some uh, some other compounds, but nothing crazy. He did abuse gear like a maniac for years on end, and now he's taking it a little bit easier, so he's maintaining the muscle size. And he has finished dieting, and then he slowly did a reverse dieting, and now that's probably the best time you're gonna ever look. I mean, after you're depleted and you in then you incorporate some carbs and a lot of food, you're gonna look insane. Your pumps are gonna be crazy. And this is him after dieting and doing the reverse dieting. And it is incredible how muscular this guy is. He's just a freak of the freaks, one of the freakiest looking bodybuilders of today. And uh, not a professional, though, uh, if he could have fit into 12, into 12 category, then maybe he would have went pro, but he is just too big for that. He's like 240, 250 on stage, so he would have to lose a lot of muscle, and that's not something he's interested in. So he's probably not going to turn pro. In the open, he doesn't really look that good on stage. His waistline is just blown out, but uh, if you talk about the freakiest bodybuilders today who don't really compete in pro ranks, Jordan Peters, JP, is somebody who comes to my mind first. But how about this open pro bodybuilder? Just joking, of course, this is Mr. Classic Physique, uh, Robert Timms, and uh, he is about five and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia. He looks like an amazing open bodybuilder here, and I, it's crazy just to think how this guy can even fit in Classic Physique, but I'm guessing the reason is his, his smaller legs. Because of the lack uh, of legs, he can actually fit into that category. But uh, I think he's gonna do great in open bodybuilding one day. I mean, this is just freakiness all day long. It just looks really freaking freaky. I mean, look at the muscle bellies, the conditioning, the details. Just looks ridiculous. Sick. It looks, it looks, it looks crazy. So he's an insane bodybuilder. If you ask me, is he super classic? Of course, you guys know my stance on this. I don't find him very classic. I don't think he's gonna challenge uh, Chris Bumstead, but he might beat some of the other guys simply because of his muscularity and ability to fit in the category. He's something similar to like George Peterson, maybe a little bit prettier lines, but still more of a smaller bodybuilder than a classic physique, like Golden Era guy, not really. You can compare him to like Logan Franklin as far as the classic alliance. And I think Brion, for example, is way more classic than him. This is his most recent physique update. Now, he was uh, two times classic physique Mr. Olympia champion last year. He ended up in third somehow. But this year, he is saying that he's coming strong. He wants that title back. And I think it's way more realistic to compare Robert Timms to guys like Brion Ainsley. So can Robert Timms beat Brion Ainsley? It's possible. Sure, I can see that. It's a different kind of, uh, of physique. These two guys are very different. But yeah, I think that's more realistic uh, to, to compare. Now, what Brion has is more of a flow. You know, he has also big legs. He has a really nice structure, nice symmetry. But what Robert has is crazy amount of detail and muscularity, wanes, everything. He's so full and hard and vascular. Now it's gonna be about uh, like muscle density and, and details and hardness versus a little bit better flow, structure, symmetry, classic lines. And I think in this case it can go either way, but I don't think it can go either way with Chris Bumstead because Chris is just on another level. Can Brian somehow win the Mr. Olympia again in classic physique? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't see that happening, no way. I think uh, Chris just surpassed him by a, a mile, and I don't think it's even comparable anymore, but I think it's gonna be a great battle between Brion Ainsley, Robert Timms, Terence Ruff, and the other guys for that second spot. That's gonna be exciting. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to this channel, guys. All the best and bye-bye.